Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time ever watching me, hello, my name is Lanye, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Morphe Bake and Set Powders. Um, I did receive these and I think they've already been, like I think they're already out because I think they came out with the foundation and the concealer. If you want to see my review on the foundation and concealer, I will have that listed at the end of this video, which I already did that, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply that foundation and the concealer. The shade that I am in the foundation is 4.110. This is um, an, in the F family, so F4110 matte. And I love, love, love this foundation. Like, it's it's such a good match. Um, not overly warm or anything like that. And then the concealers that I use, first I'll apply a little bit of C435, which is a little more golden. Um, and then I'll go in with C415.15, which is a little lighter. So applying this underneath of this will make it not appear so bright. Sometimes I'll just go in with this. It depends on the type of look and the type of, you know, makeup glam that I'm trying to go in with. Um, but most of the time I'll just use the C415. 4.15 um, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply those and then come back actually before I apply those because I don't want my creams to be just set sitting on my skin without getting set I'm gonna show you guys the different powders that they have so they have a brightening pink which I probably would never ever ever use this because it is a pink formula um, but for lighter skin tones you know more like white women probably get away with using this then there is a banana rich which is more like the sasha buttercup and oh my gosh i just ordered this really ordered the sasha buttercup i'm so stupid i got this like last thursday or friday yeah yeah so uh, the banana rich i'm gonna open this because this one is one that i would probably use Oh yeah, it's pretty much like my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So has that nice yellow hue to it for a nice brightening effect. Then we have a banana shade, which I'm more into the banana shades now than I am the banana rich shades, but I do like to mix the two. Cause see, this one's a little more yellow, like a like not yellow, more white, like a little lighter than the banana rich. If you can see the two of them side by side so what I like to do is use the banana rich well I've never tried these but color wise just visualize with me um, so I like to use the banana rich which is this one right here a little more yellow and then I'll go in with the uh, just a regular banana or a lighter powder over the top of it just to give like more of a brightening highlighted effect I can't find my freaking oh my freaking what is it Beauty Bakery powder. I can't find it since I got back from Vegas. Like, I just don't know where it went. Next, they have the shade Translucent Rich, which is like a brown shade. So this would probably be a shade that I would use on like my deeper, darker skin tone to um, bake underneath of their eyes. It is really, really, really warm though. It's really warm. Mm. Don't know how much I'm gonna like this, but the last one is regular translucent, so just a regular white setting powder. And it does say it bakes and sets makeup for a shine-free finish. Oil absorbing, 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 <laughs> absorbing formula selfie approved. So um, definitely want to check the flash on this, but this one's just a white. And I like that this isn't white, white, like stark white. I like that it has kind of like a yellow hue to it. So it's not super, 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 super light. So it's still something that I could use if I wanted to. Um, let me open one of them up. So the sifter is just a regular sifter. That doesn't seem like there's a ton of product in here. Nine grams, so 0 0.31 ounces. So just, there's not a ton, but this was made in Australia, so hopefully it's good. Oh, made in China. What? Okay, yeah, this was made in China. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. So it probably was tested on animals, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but... Now I'm going to go ahead and do that, put all this stuff on my face and try this powder out, see how it goes, and yeah.
Okay, you guys so I went ahead and opened up the banana regular banana because that's the shade that I'm gonna be using today um, but I still am gonna swatch the other two shades um, that would work for us brown girls and probably the translucent one um, just so you guys get a reference because I know I'll get those comments like I would have loved to see the other two you know type of thing so whoa a lot comes out that's just wow okay let's see So there isn't a distinct smell, kind of like how their foundation and concealer has like a smell. Um, the setting powder doesn't, so that's really nice. Um, pretty fine. It's pretty, pretty, pretty fine. Like milled, like it's not like a super chunky powder or anything like that. I actually like this powder, like so far so good type of thing, you know? No complaints so far. I just have to make sure that it photographs well because um, if I use it for like my wedding day or something like that, like I need to make sure like nothing is gonna look weird. So it's definitely drying. Wanna make sure I point that out. I can already kind of feel it like baking um, with the foundation and the concealer and everything like that. Um, this line is definitely geared more towards the oily skin friends so if you have more dry skin you can wear the foundation the concealer the setting powder but be smart about it so if you choose to wear this foundation use a moisturizing primer um, make sure you have a serum on your skin um, things like that and then with the setting powder I would not recommend baking with it I would recommend using like a setting brush like this is the Moda setting brush and use this to just kind of set underneath of the eyes as opposed to baking because it's, it's just not gonna be pretty like you're gonna be really dry um, but so far so good I I really enjoy the the Morphe face line. Um, this is the first time I've used the setting powder, um, but I really enjoy the foundation and the concealer and the setting spray. Like I think they came out with really great affordable products um, that are also accessible with them being in Ulta and things like that. So let me open up the Translucent Rich. Oh, fuck, okay. So definitely don't wanna, okay, you can kinda see it on my hand very 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 uh let me do it on my wrist very warm like like really uh really warm but it feels really nice and silky on the skin um i don't remember how much these cost i don't remember but i'll have it make sure i have it down below because i don't remember off the top of my head and i just threw away my sasha butter cup old package so I don't know off the top of my head like I can't compare the shade with the banana rich why do I keep doing that definitely more on the Sasha buttercup line so if you are a little darker than I am or or if you like a more natural looking under eye like if you're not into you know all of this that I did the banana rich would still give a nice highlighted effect just not as bright so for my wedding day what I'll probably do is I'll probably use banana rich pop that underneath and then go in with banana 
just regular banana over the top just to give the light a little bit of brightening effect um, but I would never ever ever recommend someone buying two products just to be extra like I am so um, if you're darker than I am or even the same skin tone and you aren't into the super highlighted bright under eye concealers banana would be a great shade once again it is geared more towards the oily skinned friend so if you have dry skin normal skin it probably you can make it work for you but there are probably better setting powders kind of like the Too Faced better what is it Too Faced Born This Way setting powder that one has coconut oil infused in it or coconut infused in it it's a little more hydrating this one's a little more uh, drying so yeah so far so good let me wipe this away uh, do the rest of my face come back for final thoughts and let you guys know all of that okay you guys so the setting powder turned out really 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 good like no complaints over here like I'm about to take a picture with the flash with the lights on and everything so you guys can see you know if it has flashback I, I lost my pop socket yesterday so it's kind of making it's gonna be a little hard Ooh, flash back approved. Look at that. Like, I hate this camera. I hate this camera, but I love this camera because you can literally see everything. You can see all of the eyebrow hairs and my eyebrows. You can see all of my lip hairs. You can see everything. <laughs> but there is no flashback. So that's really, really, really good. Um, I know a lot of people have questions about that and everything like that no flashback whatsoever um it's really nice really silky really fine i like it uh, once again if you are a little bit darker than me you might want to just go with the banana rich and then maybe if you're a little lighter than me or if you just like a bright under eye like i do like i just use banana and i like it it looks really good the foundation concealer everything looks really good and i can't wait to see how my wedding makeup turns out because I'm probably gonna use all of this Morphe stuff. So, Morphe, reach out to your girl for a sponsor video. No. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to tap your notification bells if you don't already have those on and I will be back with more consistent videos. But that's all I have for you guys. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.